Resolutions. January has broken in a peal of bells and canned laughter on a pre recorded Hogmanay show on STV. You're still waiting on that tall, dark stranger to first foot you, hopefully with a bottle and not a lump of carbon, the contemporary kryptonite, or a wedge of charcoal black bun, so it's time to get out ink and paper, make your New Year resolutions and tape them to the fridge. Here are your starters for 10, your resolution foundation. Feel free to add to them. One the how dare you challenge. Greta Thunberg, after whom a Glasgow gritter, Greta Thunberg, is named, blamed you and I and most of the rest of the developed world for the mess we have made of the planet. When she did it he had just spent 15 days at sea, fortified by quells and righteous indignation, sailing from Plymouth to New York to excoriate anyone over 16, at a UN climate, in action summit. Setting off from Plymouth was clearly symbolic, it's from where the Pilgrim Fathers left for the United States to set up the first permanent colony and, in due course, the subsequent wiping out of most of the native population. The annual Farago known as the Climate Control Conference is coming to Glasgow in November. You'll know it by the incessant whine of private jets arriving and the pall of fumes over the city from the leader's chauffeur-driven limos. If we Greta doesn't juke about the place in her gritter she will have missed a brilliant photo opportunity. Your resolution is to avoid plastic packaging for January, well we know the limits of your resolution, and to put a brick in your toilet system to save water. To put woke to sleep. The word emerged around two decades ago signifying someone in tune with racial and justice issues, but it was quickly commodified and used in everything from rap songs to advertising jingles, or what was known as woke washing. A whole dress and tonsorial code emerged with it, beards, sleeve tattoos and tartan shirts for men, short fringes, vivid hair coloring and, of course, tattoos for women. It isn't just time to euthanize woke, it's time to strike it from the language. Don't just resolve not to use it, get to the mirror and shave off the ridiculous posturing beard and, if a woman, forego Brazilians until at least Shrove Tuesday? 3. In politics any mention of Brexit is at band until at least February 1st, when we will be out of the EU, either with a deal or on our uppers. Not just Brexit but second referendum. Using all three in one sentence will, like the trigger phrase in the Ipcress file, induce hypnosis so profound and make you so suggestible that you'll even be induced to laugh at Mrs. Brown's boys. Help by switching of the TV news and stay off the internet and you should be safe. Continue to buy newspapers, of course, even too, but start reading from the back and when you get to the front page of the review section throw or for more on this story, visit the news article link.